Mark Alara, EE's CEO, has announced on Twitter an upcoming competition, which looks to be rather exciting because, as you can see in the image, the marketing team have gone to the effort of producing a compelling bit of marketing material in the form of a golden sim. Now this looks really rather tasty and especially for me he followed up with this initial tweet and image with a, another tweet saying to look up and learn about what EE's masts look like which is obviously what I do an awful lot of on this channel, showing and explaining how mobile telecommunications masks that are in use work. Now, I never win competitions, certainly not good ones. So in this video, I'm going to explain what EE's masks look like to help as many other people have the ability to compete, I guess in whatever the competition ends up being. I think Streetworks monopoles are a great place to start this kind of introduction to EE's masts. These are commonly found in residential and visually sensitive areas because they tend to just look like telegraph poles. Often they are coloured brown like telegraph poles and often they do look literally exactly like telegraph poles but sometimes they just literally look like very small poles like lighting columns without lamps on them and do a very good job of serving relatively small areas with the signal that they need really. Another type of minimally visually affecting sites that you see are where they mount the antennas on the top of electricity pylons because the pylons are already there and obviously the panels are quite small so if you mount them quite high up you both get massive coverage from it as well as it being very little visually changing compared to just the pylon being there. However for this competition I think the sites are going to have to be somewhere where the public will not only readily come across them but be able to identify with their eyes, i.e. not like a telescope, the network equipment. So probably going to be heavily weighted towards rooftop sites I imagine and rooftop sites are absolutely ubiquitous in cities and towns because obviously roofs building roofs are high up and offices and things tend to have quite a lot of rooftop clutter anyway so the addition of antennas and equipment is very straightforward to do. Furthermore people actually tend to spend a lot of time in town to cities because that's where they work and things like that so these sites are absolutely crucial. The final type of E mast that I am going to talk about is the freestanding tower variety. Now these can come in a whole variety of different shapes and sizes from the sort of monstrous lattice towers that people associate with mobile masts all the way to very slim line poles with a few panels on top. EE also has a number of temporary sites they use to provide coverage when say a building gets knocked down or provide additional capacity and coverage to events like Glastonbury which demand a very specialised high capacity temporary mast solution. The competition is not live yet to the public so it's not clear exactly what it is however check out uh, Mark Alera's Twitter which is at Mark Alera EE and I will link to it in the description when the competition details are actually released and good luck to those who enter it. This video has primarily been designed to show examples of what EE's 4G masks look like rather than explain in detail how to recognise that the mast in front of you is for sure an EE mast because 
I'm sure with the competition they will sort of adjudicate the submissions people make. And additionally, recognising the operators and the exact technologies on a mast is incredibly difficult because the operators typically nowadays use panels which look exactly the same but configured ever so slightly differently. Also, some masts are incredibly well hidden, so there are things like fake tree masts, panels hidden in fake roofs, and all sorts of setups that they can't reasonably expect the public to be able to uh, recognise, I think, so hence why I've focused on demonstrating the ones I have. However, if you do want a very detailed explanation of how masts are set up, and their RF schematics and the complex aspects if you like then my channel is full of videos that, can, that you can spend hours and hours watching to learn more about what communications Mars and EK look like and how they operate.